I've put my arm around my brother all our lives. I can't do it anymore, Prince William reveals sadness at broken bond with Prince Harry and how they are no longer a team, as Queen fears for her fragile grandson ahead of showdown. Prince William is desperately sad that the close relationship he once enjoyed with Prince Harry has soured, it was claimed by a friend last night. The Duke of Cambridge has said he is unable to even put an arm round his younger brother nowadays, after a rift saw them grow apart over the past year. Harry and Meghan's intention to quit as senior royals has widened the gulf between the two siblings, with William understood to be incandescent over his brother's blind sighting of the family. But as the brothers gear up to come face to face at the Queen's High Stakes Crisis Summit at Sandringham on Monday, the second in line to the throne confided in a friend his raw agony over the cracked sibling bond. He said, I've put my arm around my brother all our lives and I can't do that anymore, we're separate entities, according to the Sunday Times. William also spoke of his frustration that Harry is no longer part of the team by deciding to become financially independent in a paired-back royal role. Yet he hopes that there will come a time when the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will be singing from the same page once again. The Queen, who was pictured ashen-faced behind the wheel of her Land Rover today, is also said to be concerned for the mental fragility of her grandson Harry, according to a royal source speaking to the Mail on Sunday. Anxious to avoid exacerbating an already tense situation, the royal family is keen to tread carefully. A source said, there is no suggestion that they will be punished or stripped of their royal titles or HRH status. Everyone wants to find a solution to this as quickly as possible. After laying down a 72-hour ultimatum to aides on Friday to hammer out a solution to the Sussex's future roles, Her Majesty summoned Princess Charles. William and Harry to her Norfolk estate to put an end to the turmoil ravaging the monarchy, while Meghan is expected to join the discussions via a conference call from Canada. Courtiers have quickly crashed together a document outlining several blueprints for Harry and Meghan's new position within the royal ranks. Palace staff will also spell out the punitive taxes which could be inflicted on the couple, should they press ahead with their plans to resign from frontline duties. However, a royal insider confirmed to The Sun on Sunday that the Sandringham summit will extend to the next steps for the entire monarchy, which is staring down the barrel of its worst crisis since 1992's Annis Horribly, when both Charles and Diana, and Andrew and Sarah Ferguson both divorced. Commentators have drawn parallels between the new Way Ahead group, when the senior royals bunkered down 28 years ago to chart a path out of the chaos and the Queen's urgency to stamp out the Sussex situation immediately. Growing up, William and Harry's brotherly love seemed unbreakable, with the pair supporting each other in the wake of their mother Diana's death. As they both developed into their roles as senior members of the royal family, they became a somewhat double act who would do engagements together. Even when William married Kate, they would often attend events as a trio. But during the past year rumors of a brewing row between the brothers began to bubble up, eventually boiling over when Harry and Meghan quit the charitable entity they spearheaded with the Cambridges and branched FF to form their own. In an ITV documentary earlier this year, Harry refused to deny speculation of the rift and said he and William were on different paths. And it is not just the brothers who have drifted apart. As it was claimed last night that Meghan and Kate Middleton have not spoken in over six months after ceasing communication on their WhatsApp group, according to The Mirror. The breakup of the so-called Fab Four, which was cemented when the Sussexes left Kensington Palace, weighed on Harry immensely at the time, a source told The Sunday Times. They said, Harry was very opposed to it at first. He saw it as the opening of a chasm between him and his brother. William was also concerned. As heir to the throne, William's staff at Kensington Palace have spent the past few days bunkered down in talks aimed at resolving the crisis raging through the Windsor ranks. The Duke of Cambridge will weigh in on the Sussex situation at the summit where Harry and Meghan will be confronted with the dire financial impact of abandoning the royal family at an extraordinary Sandringham summit tomorrow. Royal aides and government officials have drawn up a range of scenarios setting out the star complications faced by Harry and Meghan if they abandon or dramatically scale back their royal duties, including a major tax trap. 
In what source is described as a reality check moment, Harry will travel to Sandringham for a showdown with the Queen, Prince Charles, and Prince William. Meghan is expected to join by phone from Canada, where she is caring for their eight-month-old son, Archie. A senior source said a solution that is compatible with taxpayers, compatible with reality and compatible with the Queen was being sought. But the mood is likely to be tense. The Mail on Sunday understands that anger over Harry and Meghan's defiance of an order not to go public with their so-called abdication plan has been compounded by the suggestion, denied by palace sources, that the couple told Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau about their move before the Queen. Meanwhile, Meghan has been telling friends that a move to North America will be a welcome relief from her toxic life in Britain. At tomorrow's meeting, Prince Harry will be handed documents compiled following discussions with HMRC and the Canadian Tax Authority, that will set out and detail the financial penalties for a range of scenarios. These include a so-called hard megxit involving a permanent move to North America and a soft megxit in which the couple split their time between Britain and overseas and retain full, active royal roles. Harry will be told that he would face a potential double tax on any commercial income and a large bill for Frogmore Cottage his home in Windsor, if he and Meghan decide to ditch their royal duties and relocate abroad. The bill could run into millions of pounds. Canada requires residents, anyone who spends 183 days or more in the country, and some property owners to pay income tax on their global earnings. Similar rules apply in the UK, but the limit is 90 days. It would mean that Harry might have to give up his UK residency or limit his time in Canada else risk being double taxed on any commercial income, paying in both countries. Meghan, who is an American citizen, already has to pay tax in the U.S. on any global earnings regardless of where she lives. The couple may also face hefty charges on any funding they get from Prince Charles's Duchy of Cornwall estate and could have to pay rent at commercial levels for Frogmore Cottage which underwent a taxpayer-funded £2.4 million refurbishment before the couple moved in. The couple currently receive annual funding, also of about £2.4 million, mostly from Charles. There is also genuine concern about the mental fragility of the couple, particularly Harry, so aides are doing all they can to try to ease any transition. Mm -hmm.